Hey, what's up? So we're gonna go out and do this video, show you guys how much snow is left or how little snow is left. But I want to shout out my boy, Fox Forever. Thank you, dude. Always nice to hear from you, man. Fox Forever lives in the, the town that I was born in Anacrime, California. Anacrime, you heard that, right? Um, I was born in Anaheim, Anaheim General. But yeah, so thank you, Fox Forever. You're a cool dude. This guy sent me for my birthday a couple birthdays ago, <laughs> a shirt with my mug on it and it just looks so funny like it like destroyed the shirt <laughs> to have my face on it i'm just kidding dude so thank you always always nice to hear from you and thank you for sending me that that video of you guys sledding i just wish it would have come out better peace out dude hey yo how's it going guys how's everybody it's december or january 4th 2021 uh yeah welcome to this video you guys this is basically going to be just showing you guys what town looks like exactly a week after the snowstorm. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's, there's still some spots to play, but you guys better get up here. No joke. You better get up here quick. Okay. Because, uh, we have temperatures going to be in the fifties. Um, like right, right about 50 for the next few days during the day. And then next week it's supposed to get into the mid fifties, just below 60, no snow in the forecast. So this stuff's going to be gone. You guys, I'm really super bummed, really super bummed, but It'll be cool on the next storm we get when I do the calm before the storm. It's it's gonna be a fresh start. Because usually, like when I do after my first calm before the storm video, there's usually still snow around once I start the next one and the next one and the next one. So it just piles on top of each other. But this one, uh, I'm pretty sure most of this is gonna be gone. I mean, most of it already is. The ski resorts guys will still have plenty, so don't even trip. Um, they make snow all the time when we have uh, right around freezing temperatures and lower. So it's basically like when you show up there each day, even if there's no snow in town, it's gonna feel like as soon as you get off that darn lift, it's gonna feel like it just snowed out there. That's how good of a job they do. So don't worry about that. Come up here, have a great time. But if you're not going skiing and just wanted to come play in the snow, you better get up here. Um, not that we're not gonna get more snow. We are, I'm certain we're gonna get more snow this season, but it's just, there's nothing in the, in the 10 day plus forecast. So, and then yeah. Oh, you know what? So on my other YouTube channel, you guys, it's called Luxury Hotel and Resort Travel. I just started it like a month and a half ago. Um, it was all to, t to treat my mom to these beautiful hotels and stuff every time because of just the, the horrible kid that I was um, and all the bad things that I did. Not not like evil things, but just, 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 just like bad things, drugs, alcohol and stuff and putting her through crap. And so basically, I'm, uh, I'm staying at the Ritz Carlton this Sunday with her. And what this, as I said, what uh, this channel is about is about, uh, um, just staying in like beautiful resorts, like five-star resorts for the most part, unless it's in like the San Bernardino mountains, I couldn't stay in a five-star resort up here. So I had to pick the nicest resort, the mountain range offers, which happens to be in Lake Arrowhead. It was the Lake Arrowhead resort and spa. So I put her up there. We stayed at the JW Marriott, uh, desert Springs, which is just about a five-star, um, because the uh, Four Seasons, or no, the Ritz Carlton over there was actually sold out at the time, but the JW Marriott's pretty darn nice. But yeah, we're staying at, at uh, the Ritz Carlton in Dana Point on this next Sunday, so I'm, I'm gonna be doing another video there. I'd really love for you guys to check it out. That'd be cool. Luxury hotel and resort travel. It's got a picture of like a beach scene with like two white lawn chairs just laying, or just uh, side by side uh, facing the ocean. It looks pretty cool. Sorry for plugging that, you guys. Um, once again, like it's, it's, it's just something really, really cool and really beautiful. I think, um, I talk about things like, uh, I'm going to start talking about my past when it comes to that channel, but yeah, it's just really, 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 really neat you guys. And, um, give everyone hope that everyone can, you know, live how they want. You know, you don't have to be conditioned. Like I always say, like how society says like, oh, you're, you're bad if you make money. Like, like that's just giving the lazy people just so many cop outs and, and excuses to be victims in life and not do anything. Like, I don't believe in that. You guys, I think all of you can do anything you want and you're worth so much. And there's so much available for you out there. Go for it. You only live once. Like, like trying to be a martyr and, uh, you know, like, oh, rich people, rich people are bad. People who make money are are like bad like like that's as i said that's just the worst cop out to maintain the same state you're in and 
and you, and I'm telling you guys, if it, if I can get out of what I went through in my life, dude, I promise you, you guys can, no problem, like, no problem, I'm considered the hopeless alcoholic, you guys, I really am, and that's what AA, and, in, 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 you know, in the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous, I'm considered the hopeless variety, so, anyway, long story short, that was about the damn freaking luxury hotel and resort travel, but yeah, just thought some of you who really like me might enjoy that channel, and uh, yeah, I'd be super stoked for you guys to freaking check it out, but all right, enough about that. We're on Moon Ridge right now. We're just passing my place right over there, but yeah, we're going to go over by the village. We're going to drive through the village right now because I want you guys to get a decent view of what town's looking like. We're going to go through the busiest parts of town. This is the Brownie parking lot. That is a satellite parking lot for Snow Summit. It's almost full. The past couple days it was, but not today. It's not quite full, but it's still pretty full. But look at this, guys. Oops. So we're gonna do this. No one ever knows about this lane for some reason. So we're gonna know about it. All right. All right I guess they're oh they're oh they're merging everybody. That's the problem. We're not okay. Oh my gosh, that was such a bad move. I did not mean to do that, but we did. Did not mean to do it. Hope you guys don't see that. Hope you guys don't see that. That was a total accident. I don't know if we can uh, fix that. <laughs> I could edit it, but like, yeah. That was, that was a mistake. Sorry, you guys. Sorry, you guys. Hope I don't get in trouble for that one. I know I'm going to hear about it. But that's okay. As I said, it was a total accident. I, I, you know, I didn't do it on purpose. But on the way back, we might uh, drive by Summit right there. And, and let, yeah, you know, I think we'll be able to. We'll be able to. No problem. So look, guys, there's just no snow over here anymore, or hardly any on the right hand side. But it's because over here you, you get a lot more sunshine than you will just right over on that side due to this big opening on Big Bear Boulevard and the angles of the sun. Um, temperature is 55 degrees, you guys. Like, it's, you know, it's it's a bummer. It's a bummer. It, it, you know, it's a beautiful winter day, but it's it's a bummer. We want snow. Without snow, it's, you, you, you know, we don't get to experience you guys coming up here and having fun. And that's kind of a bummer. You guys make it fun up here. But yeah. I'm telling you guys, it's been so gnarly in town. Like everywhere you go, from the post office to the grocery stores, the lines are just ridiculous. That's the only, only positive thing about these types of holidays uh, and weekends being over is that uh, like literally tonight, you guys, you see all these cars on Big Bear Boulevard? Tonight at about eight o'clock or nine o'clock, I'll, I'll, I'll be able to almost drive this whole strip and not see one car coming in the opposite direction. I guarantee you. It's so cool like that here. It gets so busy and then just boom, out of nowhere. Just no one. You blink your eye and everyone's gone feels like quite a ghost town at, at, at you know at that point it's nice for for a minute but it's nothing too special much rather have you guys here have, you know having fun up here and asking me questions and stuff like that i enjoy that stuff i enjoy answering these questions for you guys I'm trying to keep you safe if i can or safer i know that there's like nothing i can do i, I can just help give you advice and, and, and give you a good perspective but other than that you guys have to drive yourselves and uh that's why I just do the best I can so you guys can see and make your own decision whether you want to drive up or not. I was going to start um, a company a while back, which was going to like, uh, someone brought it up in a comment. Um, basically, I was going to like set up a business to where I could have people park down the hill who were too scared to drive up here in the storms and stuff. And then uh, we'd have a couple guys who are on call who are ready to drive down and then drive the people up in their own vehicles or something like that 
just so when they get here, they have their own car and, and they'll be comfortable. But um, I don't know how that would work. That would take a lot of insurance money. But once again, if I can help you guys out, I will help you guys out. And I think this tool just threw something out his window. Arizona license plate. Man, see, see, it's it's people like this that I just want to just just punch them right in the face. You guys saw that, right? He tossed something out his freaking window. Seriously, I want to pull him out of his window and just beat him. I give you guys permission. If you see people throwing trash up here, seriously, throw it back in their face. I'm not kidding. Throw it right back in their face. I'm tired of this. And make sure your fist is right behind it too. Litter bug. What's up, litter bug? Tool. Sorry, guys. I just don't like that, man. That's so weak. Go litter in your town, bro. <laughs> you know, go to Arizona and, and freaking, freaking litter there. Don't litter here. We have enough litter up here. But yeah, guys, so we're in the village right now. As you can see, there's hardly any snow left through here. The people are still out here having a good time and that's beautiful to see. <laughs> Some of the shops are still open. Actually, a lot of the shops are still open. I mean, I haven't seen any that are closed to tell you the truth. I thought they were, most of them were supposed to be closed. But it's all, all good. People are being safe. Good for them not falling victim to hyperbole. Okay. So we were gonna go through the village and then come back around, which I think we still might do. It's just regarding this traffic, I don't know if, uh, if it'll be worth it, but I, I want you guys to get a good view of everything that's going on in the main part of town, like the main parts where you guys will be driving most of the time. There we go. And as I say, guys, there's no snow on the forecast at all. It's kind of a bummer. Kind of a bummer. It's 55 degrees. Aye, aye, aye. You guys need to get up here, especially those of you who want to play and like build snowmen and and find little cool spots to go sledding. And I'm always down to help you guys do that. Um, like lots of times, you guys have contacted me when you're in town, and then I'll just have you meet me somewhere and, and then follow me to exactly where I think is a good spot. You know, um, I mean, there's a couple spots, but with the snow this melted already, a, a couple of those spots might not be suffice to have a good time i don't want your kids to like sled on rocks and stuff like that that's just not fun um i want you guys to come back up and have a good time not leave here injured so uh yeah anyway guys this is a, a beautiful little like uh i think it's it's like a timeshare type of a thing i think you can rent them also when you when you come up here and then this is the hotel that i want to stay at next up here but we have to stay at the lagunita lodge too i promised one of you that i would so we will do that, but I might stay here in the next couple days right there, who knows. All right, so we're exiting the village, you guys, um, and we're gonna turn right at this light. And so we're straight ahead, all those cars coming towards us, that's where most of you come into town anyway. Majority of you, I'd say 80 plus percent of you come in that way, the rest come in the back in Highway 38. Yeah. Such an honor. All the snow is melting. Yeah, we'll try to do a quick little look at Snow Summit so you can at least see one of the resorts to get a little perspective. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot different, huh? It's a lot less. This place right here, you guys, Village Pizza. 
phenomenal phenomenal it's the place with the a-frame roof right there really good stuff I think that's my favorite pizza place in town Sorry about this, guys. But you guys are experiencing it like I'm experiencing it. This is this is what town's like right now. You're getting the full throttle perspective here. <laughs> all the traffic and all the good times. Okay. So we're coming into town now. I didn't record it because I wasn't uh, recording hotels and Airbnbs that long ago. So I need to record that one too. That one's really nice. It's right on the lake. They have the jacuzzi that I had a lot of good times in. Just because it's right there on the lake, it's really nice. Robin Hood Resort, you guys. This is one of my favorite places up here. This is where I used to come and stay all the time. Robin Hood has a few rooms that have jacuzzis in them, and it's it's not classless like it sounds. I, you know, it kind of sounds like the rooms that have like those massaging beds and stuff. Like, it's not a classless place. It's it, it's actually pretty nice, and the jacuzzis, as I said, are not bad. It's it's pretty nice. So you you don't have to think you're like in some like brothel or like some trash. It's it's actually nice. And the reason why I'm saying that is because like some of the cheap hotels in like Vegas or like other places that I've experienced, yeah, I was like out, yeah. <laughs> the rooms with the, the jacuzzis have like, uh, yeah, <laughs> just bad scenes around them. But anyway, Robin Hood Resort's a great place, you guys. Um, not too expensive. As I said, I used to stay there uh, from like 2011 until 2015 when I moved up here. I would come up here a couple times a year to go skiing and I'd stay there. Because I just got so comfortable there. Anyway. We're gonna just take a, a quick little uh, drive up Summit Boulevard to Switzerland Boulevard, which is at the entrance of uh, the Snow Summit, just to take a little peek at the mountain and see what's going on. But yeah, guys, it's a little bit nuts. So we're not gonna turn on Summit. We're just gonna take a little shortcut. We're gonna turn on on this street which is called Thrush, right next to Carl's Jr. And all these things say no ski area access. So we're not gonna go to the ski area access, we're just gonna turn left here, and then we're gonna go into ski area access on the next street. Some fighters live here, I think that's Triple G's place. I think that's where he, he trains out of. If you guys are into that stuff, I am. I'm more into MMA than boxing, but it's all good. I prefer uh, you know, the more realistic fighting. If you get in a boxing match on the street, it's not like they're not gonna kick you or like, well, it's probably stab you and shoot you anyway, but. Boxing is a good, it's the, obviously the best striking foundation, but I like jujitsu. I like Brazilian jujitsu. Cause I'm a little guy. So, anyway. 
We're on Summit, guys. Straight ahead is Snow Summit Ski and Snowboard Resort. And here is a John Law. Good afternoon, officer. I'm not as thick as you drunk I am. Definitely a bunch, of, a bunch of cars parked out here. These places are so awesome to rent in the winter time because you just, you just got the resort right here. Um, yeah, that's just got to make it so much easier. You don't have to deal with with having to pay for parking or anything like that. So yeah, here we are, guys. We're at Snow Summit. Um, we're not gonna be able to. You know what? I'm just gonna tell them I just want to flip around right here. Let me clean this off real quick. Hey, what's going on? I just want to flip around. Cool, thank you. No worries. No worries. Or can I just flip right here? Um, yeah, just go right here. Absolutely. As soon as it, yeah. Thank you, thank you. What's up, brother? You can smile, man, it's all good. You can smile. It's a beautiful day. Take care, thank you. All right. All righty. Right here, man, this place has some horrible things going on in there. You don't even wanna know. Not a good, good place. Let's put it this way, it had to do with children, okay? Yeah, horrible, it was all over the news. Like, I just want that, <laughs> yeah, not good, man. Anyone who hurts children should never, like, even have a chance to, to speak again or walk, but. All right, so we're on Switzerland right now, we're turning left onto Crestwood. And Crestwood, we have a good friend on on, on this channel. Uh, she or used to be a friend. I've, I haven't heard from her in a long time. I don't know what happened with them, but she and her husband, that's their place right there. They have an Airbnb right there. And I've stayed there a couple times. They're really awesome people. Michelle Wallbacker, she's the one who, who bought us uh, our first GoPro, you guys. She drove all the way up from down the hill to come bring a freaking GoPro. She's just an awesome lady. And you know what? That wasn't their place, my bad. Their place is right here. This is it. This is one of their Airbnbs. Stayed there a couple times with my mom. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I, I love messing with people, but just in like a fun way. Like, I don't know if like you guys got that when I was telling that that guy to smile and like laugh. It's a beautiful day. Like he was, you just couldn't see <laughs> because he has his mask on. So that's the, like, yeah, I mess with people, but it's, it's all in good fun. You guys, it's all in good fun. But yeah, we're on Brownie lane now. This is where that uh, satellite parking lot is where I, where we started the video from basically. If you uh, go to summit, most likely they'll be having you park here. Personally, you guys, I prefer Bear Mountain, but that's because I've spent way more time at Bear. Um, Summit is more family orientated, you guys, so uh, you're not gonna smell as much cannabis over there. <laughs> uh, you'll still probably have a couple people drinking, but um, Bear is the party mountain. Bear is where everyone likes to go party. You get more snowboarders, the park's more hardcore. Um, it's just, it's just more fun. It's just more fun, I think, and less crowded sometimes. Best Western, we've stayed there. We've done a video there. So if you guys are interested in that place, you can check out the video and see, uh, see what, what that place has to offer. We're just going to go down to the end right here real quick and then turn around. Not the end, but just take a drive down Moon Ridge a little bit so you guys can see what it's like. As you can see, the roads are great, you guys. The roads are great, but keep it. Keep an eye on stuff like, like this. 
But during the day, this stuff melts and it drips onto the street. And then if it doesn't evaporate during the day, that's gonna refreeze at night and it's gonna turn into ice. So please be vigilant of that stuff, you guys. Because I know it hasn't snowed in a week, but that, it, it makes the road wet every single day. So just please, please be extra careful. And whenever you see a wet spot at night, assume it's ice. Assume it is ice. I mean, look at this, like no snow in these parking lots anymore. This is so sad. sad for my friend my friend's business partner this young kid died of a drug overdose like two days ago man such a such a bummer they own a shop right that uh, we just passed it's such a bummer you guys like 21 years old or like something and and the kid was just just had so much heart and worked so hard and was such a hustler and had a lot of respect from a lot of older people and stuff like 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 dude was going somewhere and then someone calls me and and told me or like did you hear what happened i'm like oh no man you guys like it's that's that's it's it's something that can be so avoided Kind of funny how we're really focusing on something that the CDC numbers show such such little deaths, but overdoses due to folks being locked up are like way more than twice as much. But once again, they don't care. It's about a power grab. It it doesn't matter. Like more like half a million people die each year in car accidents and stuff. Like I, I, it's <laughs> it's just it's just hilarious to me, but. You know, always be vigilant out there. Keep keep everyone around you safe, especially the people who are susceptible. But don't throw in the towel with your life just because people who don't wear the masks when the camera's on, like Newsom and Pelosi and and and, and all of them, like uh, like that should be your your clear proof. Besides actually looking at the CDC numbers, is if these people in charge uh, are not practicing what they preach because they know the truth. You know, if they're going to be around their families and not wear the masks and whatnot, like, do you really think they don't care about their families? Of course they do. They aren't stupid. They know what they're doing. So anyway, I'm not trying to argue with like anyone. That's what I believe, because if you look at the death at the death rate from the CDC numbers, instead of listening to news, I haven't watched any news in over three months, but I will look at like uh, official numbers once in a while, but I won't watch any news because it's just all trying to scare you. It's craziness. So come up here, have fun you guys, don't even trip out. There's a lot more snow up here than there was over in the Snow Summit area. Look at that guys, that's so beautiful. Over here for a minute. Oh man. Hang on a sec, I wanna see if I can. Oh, that's so pretty. Unbelievable. One of my videos a while back, I was, I was, I was focusing like right here and some dude came flying down and then ate such hard crap. Like he was like rolling and tumbling the whole way down. <laughs> Poor guy. I'm sure he was fine, but yeah. Look at that guys. Come up here and have some fun. Get your butts up here. We love you. We love you guys a lot. Anyway, that's gonna be your little tour today, you guys. So you guys can see what's going on up here. But uh, yeah, as I said, the ski resorts will be open. They'll have plenty of snow. You guys just need to get up here in a timely fashion if you're trying to, uh, if you're trying to, you know, play with the snow and build snowmen and stuff like that. <laughs> so yeah we're almost done with this video just give you guys the basic tour and then i gotta get back to work i'm really behind right now and you know what probably no one's watching it now but 
um, for for the for those of you that have iPhones, there have been like problems I, uh, apparently with some of the videos. So what I did with my iPhone because there were a, a couple of my recent videos that wouldn't play on my iPhone on the app. But if I went to like the desktop site on my iPhone, I could play all the videos from my laptop. I could play all the videos. So I just removed the the app, the YouTube app, and then I reinstalled it and it worked. So hopefully that'll work for you guys who are having issues. As I said, I probably should have said this at the beginning of the video um, because I'm sure people don't watch this far into it. But if you do, super cool. And uh, yeah, ciao. Lots of years when we get good snows out here. When you drive by this, oh, yep, there's one right there. I was gonna say there's snowmen everywhere out here. And there are, <laughs> look, look at that big one right there. Wow, look at that one, that's a super cool one. Yee -hoo. All right, cool. Love it here. Here's the new zoo, you guys. Coming up or right here on the left. Hope you guys can get a chance to stop at the zoo when you're up here. It's a really cool little place. I haven't been to the new zoo, but I was at the the most recent one prior to it, obviously. And uh, it's just very, 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 very cool. The animals are so cool, man. So many different, so many different animals that I I, I didn't expect to see up here. I can't even remember like what most of them were. I just remember I was surprised to see them here. <laughs> okay, here's a satellite lot for Bear Mountain right here. As a youngster, when we used to come up here, when I was like 10, 11, 12 years old, this was still one of the satellite parking lots and I'll never forget, we'd park here and take the tram from here all the way over to Bear and they still do the same thing. Very cool. They, uh, Anyway, I will, I'm gonna be letting you guys go here real soon, but um, we're gonna be driving by my friend's shop, you guys, and if you guys can just please hold your thoughts really for these people. It's that, like, uh, that head shop right there. Gosh, man, this, I'm just devastated for them. You guys like please realize how important you are every single one of you is so important in so many ways you are worth everything you guys are priceless like please look at yourselves like that you guys are worth everything you guys are worth everything to me like dude the guy's 21 years old dude this is not right man over effing drugs, dude? Like, come on, man. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I love you guys a lot. Please stay strong out there. Like, like, don't let something else kill you when this freaking, when this illness isn't gonna kill you. Like, please, please. But if you're older, or if you have pre-existing conditions like me, then be more careful, of course. I have Crohn's disease, so obviously I'm more careful, but it's, it's I mean, Come on, you just, just just common sense and factual data. That's that's all you need. If you try to wrap in news media with it, then you're not going to get factual data or common sense. You're going to get hyperbole and fear tactics. So just do your own research, guys. Anyway, I love you guys. I'm off like a prom dress. Please stay safe out there, and please pray for snow. We need it. Love you all.